Taylor, thank you. Now to Niagara Falls. That's where the mayor is pushing a plan to help alleviate the problem of overcrowded animal shelters. Pit Chic, a dog shelter on Grand Island, says that they have been over capacity since starting a contract with the Cataract City and the SPCA of Niagara County is having problems of its own. It's a story that we've been following for months. Our Jocelyn Person has more on a proposal to repurpose a building across from the Ice Pavilion in Hyde Park to help alleviate the problem of unwanted pets. At the end of the day, all five of you are supposed to be here for the people. The people. Strong words for the Niagara Falls Common Council Wednesday night before lawmakers voted three to two to use $13,000 towards a project to turn the city's former public works building into an animal shelter. That building sits in the middle of Hyde Park. Would you put a dog shelter in a public park? with family and children. And he doesn't care about the people in Niagara Falls. He just doesn't. He cares about the pit check. The city ended its agreement with the SPCA of Niagara last year and entered into a temporary agreement with the pit chick and Grand Island, paying that organization $20,000 a month to serve as a dog shelter for the city. Janae Gallo owns an animal shelter in Niagara County. They did ask us for a proposal. My proposal was cheaper than the Pitchick. It was in Niagara County where the money would be, and we could hold up to up to 100 dogs. But we've never been given the opportunity. Councilman Dante Miles was one of two votes against the project. Our city has been looking like, you know, a uh, 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 scene from The Walking Dead for a long time. So with that being the case, you know, how is it that we're deciding to build an animal shelter in a park? in our park, in our flagship of a park in the city of Niagara Falls, and it's on our dime. We're not gonna be subject to someone else running it and then having the same problems we had with the SPCA where they decide they don't want municipal business anymore. And so we're, we're going to hire someone to manage it, uh, an outside firm to manage it. So we'll, we'll, we will own the shelter and then we will hire a management company to run it. Former Councilman Vincent Cauley says his city needs to do a better job of listening to taxpayers. The same park that we're going to put this animal shelter in, someone just sued the city for $15,000 because they got hurt in this very same park. So we should be worried about fixing the park, fixing the roads. It just seems like a complete conflict of interest and almost pre-planned to have this woman, the pit chick from Grand Island, come in here and uh, make a big salary on our tax paradigm. We are a voice for Niagara Falls. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.